Uh, your thoughts on this one? It's a, obviously a pretty huge game when you look at how tight the table is and the, the fact that now you're going into to the running, just how big a game is it? Yeah, I think every game in the split's a big game, to be honest. Um, Celtic are a good team. We've seen that. They maybe didn't have their best performance against us last time, but we're under no illusion that it's not going to be a difficult game. Um, but this is what's so good about the split. Every game's a big game. Us Celtic and Rangers are all within a point of each other. So at this point, it's yeah, outcomes of these games are, are pretty important, but that's what the split's like. Points will be won, points will be lost. So what would it mean to you then to be involved in retaining that title this season? Yeah, I mean, everything. That's what I want to do. I want to win things. And I've said it before, I left City a champion. I want to come home and be a champion. So we know what we are aiming to do, but it's one game at a time. I think every team starts the league wanting to win. Um, but you can't start looking that far ahead at this point in time. There's just nine big games to go and yeah, I think all three teams will tell you the same thing, that it's one game at a time for, from here on in. Yeah, that's the thing, because last season Glasgow City lost to Celtic at, at Celtic Park, right? I think uh, there's three games still to go or so and yet still come back to recover the title. So would you be wary of reading too much into whatever the outcome is of this one on Sunday? Yeah, of course. I think, like I said, every game's a big game and every game's a big game for every team. So. There's plenty of games to be played. We go into every game with the exact same ambition and the exact same attitude. So nothing changes for us, whether it's Celtic on Sunday or if it's previous games or whoever the opponent is. The aim of the game is to go out there and get three points and that doesn't change whoever we're playing. Do you expect something, a different kind of Celtic team from the one that you played when you had just first come back, when Elena had first come in, they seem to have stabilised a wee bit since then? Yeah, I think, I mean, every game, I think every game's a new game, regardless of your opposition. Um, I obviously haven't been here before Christmas, so for me it's quite fresh going into every game against teams at the moment. Um, but yeah, I think we obviously dominated that day and we played well and Celtic are playing well in the league at the moment. So it'll be a good game and listen, we'll do our analysis and, and look at what we need to look at to see how we can counteract their strengths. Um, and yeah, they'll do the same, about, the same for us. So. I think it'll be a tough game and however they, they turn up, we can't control that. So Peter Sell, yeah. Peter Sell is obviously quite an encouraging environment to play into, quite a small part, quite intense, quite vocal. Do you, do you think that gives you an edge in games like this? Yeah, I mean, playing at home is always great. You have your support, you're used to your pitch, you feel comfortable being at home. Um, so yeah, I think, like I said, these games are big. I don't think you need anything extra to get you up for these games. and have adrenaline pumping through your veins so it will be a lively game I'm I'm sure Um, I think their fans will turn up we'll have fans there both uh, sets of teams are out there to try and to try and win it's going to be uh, a tough game and a big game so I think they everyone's going to be up for it either way. And just in terms of the game itself now and going in to the running uh, how, what's your thoughts on it all and how enthused are you by what looks like being another kind of photo finish? Well, we've come from a, a situation where we've been behind this season, um, which, again, is not ideal or it's not circumstances that Glasgow City are used to being in. Um, but it's something that we've had to deal with this season. I think we've, we've dealt with it well in terms of focusing on us, making sure that we are prepared for every game that we go to play. And there's still so much football to play. And we know from that experience last season how quickly things can change. One result, two results. Can go against you and before you know it your your big lead is gone or you've fallen behind so it's important that we prepare for every game but i think every single team in that top six has now got an opportunity to go and make a difference so hearts have already taken points of ourselves and celtic this season so they could be a team that could turn the tide in the title race or it might be hibs party thistle have their say as well so it's not just about the three that are close at the top at the moment, um, I think everybody will have their say. Psychologically, how, what's the difference being this season from not leading the pack but rather chasing it and making sure that the gap wasn't, was always manageable? There's probably a little less pressure there because the expectation then turns to another team um, and I think from the outside that's certainly how we felt in terms of more attention heading to the other teams. Um, but. It's something that we speak about in here in terms of we can only control what we can do. So regardless of where we are 
in the table or in the title race, we will 100% just focus on ourselves because that's the only thing that we can control. How much does last term help you mentally just going in for a run when it is so tight, when there's so little give between the three of you? I've got a dressing room full of players over there that are experienced and that have been over the course. They know exactly what it takes to go and win a title, to retain a title, to be under pressure every single game. So in terms of the games that are ahead, I've got no concerns over my squad. And I think that we've got what it takes to, to go and win games and to keep the pressure on um, in the title race. Enjoy the challenge of, of people always asking questions at Glasgow City. I've seen, have they got enough? Have they, are they capable of of course, and I think that also helped us last season in terms of people writing us off. We started to lose points in the split and that was it, we had lost the title. But the belief's still there in that dressing room and they'll fight until the title's won by someone. We're just hoping that it's going to be us again.